Hello. <coughs> Hello. It's better. Um. Hello. Um, I did have a different setup, but it was very dark. And if you're a YouTuber, then you know. The sun is your friend. Uh, so we have turned. So now we have some natural lighting. My hair's gone dead straight since I cut it. I, I picked up some moussey stuff the other day to try and curl it. Um, well, to try and enhance the natural curls, you know. Wish, 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 wish. So I think I'll have curly hair. I'm quite spacey. Um. I don't really want to go into too much about it, but like, uh, I had a call from Universal Credit today, the benefits people, always fun, and um, basically they were investigating something because we complained about something, like on behalf of us, you know, so we gave them our bank statements to check something, I cannot remember what, this was like months ago. And basically they saw them, they saw those bank statements and in amongst those bank statements would be like things from PayPal, which might be Patreon or it might be, you know, money that someone has kindly sent to us to help us because, you know, we get fuck all from Universal Credit. But basically, they, I don't really want to go into it because it's just going to spin me out and cause me to have another breakdown. But like, they basically just thought that all these PayPal payments were dodgy and thought that either I was gambling or I had a business, a small business, that I was sending products for money. Um... Which is obviously not the case, it's just like my friends helping me out here and then. So yeah, if they think that I got too much or I were, didn't declare it and it was too much or whatever, then I could have all my benefits cut, I could be arrested for fraud, I could do all sorts, like, I don't really get it. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. You know, we, we, I feel like we just have a fucking money curse at this point. Never goes right for us. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's that. Um, so was me. I, um, I was, I've been watching all of the videos that have popped up about the gala. You know, I wanna, like, oh well, I mean, Wins was like literally died at the end. Um, I think, I believe it was Kim Kim and the video. I might be wrong, or Kit, one of the K ones. Um, <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Like, it's uh, bad enough at remembering my own system names, anyway the end of their video they had their little gala thing and then obviously everyone else has done a video about it and I don't know it just it just got it's like oh I shouldn't do it but it's like rubbing salt on the wound you know <laughs> um I I am gonna try my best to go but <laughs> with money as always, it's, it, it doesn't look entirely possible right now. So it's it's a bit like, uh, and I think like in one of the videos, I'm not gonna say who, but 
And this isn't any fault of theirs, you know. In one of the videos, they said, um, all your favourite DID YouTubers will be there. And I was just sat there like, what if I'm not there? You know, like, I, I, I don't come into that category of favourite YouTubers, DID YouTubers, you know. Um, I don't know. I think the whole, the whole thing has just kind of hit my ego quite hard. My self-esteem, I think. Not, not in a like, oh, I want to go to the party, I want to be invited way, but I don't know, just... I do selfishly feel like I am the only one left out, you know, and I know I'm not. You know, there are loads of DID YouTubers that aren't invited or going or whatever. But, you know, I, I just, I just can't help it. <laughs> Especially when they say that, you know, to promote it. You, you get to meet all of your favourite DID YouTubers. Not like some. All of them. All of them will be there. But I won't be there. So I'm not in that category. I'm just a DID YouTuber, I guess, you know? Even then, am I that? <laughs> I just, uh... It's just so, like, the whole thing is really, like, Because uh, I want to go. I do. And I want to, um... I want to try and go, you know, and I want to try and get there and have fun and blah, 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 blah. But it's going to be so, like, always in the back of my head, you know, that I was, that I really had to try and scrape together things to attend things that my friends just get. And... There's no clear criteria as to why they just got it. Do you know, I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be sounding like, no, 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 I wanted everything with me. But I think it, 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 it's hard when it's your friends and it's hard when I have to do so much more. I have to fork out so much more just to have the same experience. Or to even try and get the same experience, because there's not even a chance that I could go. I just... Blah, 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 blah. I... I don't know. I feel like I'm just being a real downer. Uh, been hard since my friend's gone um you know it's like that oh I have no idea when I'll next see them like no idea it could be a year from now or could be a couple weeks from now I have no idea it probably won't be a couple weeks from now <laughs> but yeah, I think just lots, lots, it's all kind of just getting on top of me now, you know, with this whole universal credit thing and friends going and my house just being crap and money being crap and just everything. I've got like a billion appointments and it just frustrates me. <laughs> One of the biggest thing that frustrates me about Universal Credit is that I'm the disabled one on their list. I have the disability. I have the legal carer. Why do they contact me? They have never contacted Case about this or about anything. They always call me. They always make me go in for appointments. Casey doesn't have to go in for appointments. I've always got to walk into this place to get an appointment. 
and then they make me walk upstairs because there isn't any bloody lifts in this place and it's like i'm the disabled one why are you not contacting my carer At a base level, why are you not contacting my carer? Why are you calling me and causing me to have complete meltdowns over the phone when I have a literal carer you should be contacting first? You know, like, it just, it, it drives me mad that they, they think that they can just get everything out of me when I'm, I'm sat there like, no, fuck off. I have a carer for that fucking reason. I cannot communicate. I cannot deal with this. <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> but no it's my job I've got to do it all <sighs> like I had a phone call with them this morning for an hour of them interrogating me about my money and my spending and do I have savings and do I ha how many accounts do I have and can I have all the details of your accounts and blah 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 and no 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 I need two years worth of history of your spending, please. I need literal copies of your bank statements and I want you to circle where you got all this money from. That needs to be labelled as that, that needs to be labelled as that. It's like, no, that's so fucking intrusive, one. Get out of my face. And just... The way that they... They just put it all on me. What can I do? Ugh. And yeah, now I've got a bloody appointment at the place tomorrow that I can't cancel, or if I don't go to it, they'll uh, threaten to cancel my money again. Sure, make the disabled one walk all the way in. Because I don't have money for bus or a taxi to get there because you don't pay me enough. Wow. I'm just getting more and more frustrated and I'm real blobby right now. <sighs> just wanna like, just wanna live my life and just everything be okay. You know, I wanna have a nice house and it be warm when I wake up and not be literally freezing. I want to be able to afford electric and not cut out on us. I want to be able to like actually have a fridge full of food. Like we've been defrosting our freezer for the past like two weeks because it's just over frozen. Everything is literally solid ice because the door wouldn't close. So it's working on overdrive. So now I've had to defrost the whole thing and it's taken like four days. So you've had no freezer food. So we're having to buy our dinner every day because can't put anything in the freezer. I just want it to be easy. And I know that it's never gonna be, clearly. It's fucking adult life, isn't it? But other people seem to wake up and be able to just make a cup of tea and sit down and watch TV and go, right, what do I wanna do today? I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna bake a cake because I have the ingredients and I can afford that. And my kitchen's clean enough. And I have all of the baking trays and supplies and the big bowls and the wooden spoons and just anything. I want to be able to just be, not have it be such a struggle all the time. Because like getting up in the morning, getting up in the morning seems like it should be just a simple task. You know, and like I, I, I don't, I don't complain much about. I don't go into detail much about my condition on here, I guess. But here's a little snapshot of my life. <laughs> um, getting up in the morning, it's difficult. I guess you know people, not morning people, but let's say you've slept in until you're comfortable and you want to wake up. Time to wake up. Um your body naturally rolls awake, you have a stretch, maybe a yawn, you rub your eyes a bit, and then you sit up, up you get out of bed, and I don't know, you put your dressing gown on and go and make a cup of tea, sit down, I don't know, check your phone. My mornings look like 20 minutes of me half asleep, 
crying or crying out in pain then I fully wake up and realize oh I'm in pain that's what's happening um or like Casey will have woken me up by that point um I then attempt to stretch and my whole body is locked up seized up stiff as a board I am solid then I take about 10 minutes to try and sit up and get out of bed and stand up by that point my legs don't work anymore so I have to stumble into the living room and sit on the sofa for about an hour or two before I can then muster up the strength to then make a cup of tea all while being in a lot of pain And it's like, it should just be the most simple thing. Just getting up in the morning, you know, or like going to the toilet, going for a shower. It should just be simple. But it's not, it's not ever, nothing in my life is, you know, I can't go to the shower without having flashbacks or an OCD episode or dissociate or switch or I don't know. I get triggered by the water because I'm severely acrophobic. Like, I don't know. I just going to the toilet is painful. And it's like, I, I shouldn't have to come out of my bathroom sobbing every time. I shouldn't have to wake up in the morning in more pain than I went to bed in. I should wake up feeling rested, but no. My body is like, no. My brain is like, no. The outside world is like, no, ha ha. I feel, I'm sorry, I'm just ranting. <laughs> but, I guess, it's all just getting a lot, you know. got to figure out what I'm going to do for money now until this shit sorted because I don't know if anybody sending me things is gonna be flagged as bad you know so I've just got to sit here and fucking starve for the next god knows how long until and refuse people to help me you know it's like my friend often says to me like do you have dinner tonight i'll get you a little takeaway not quite often but you know it's it's a it's a thing that's happened more than once you know and so she'll send me the money for a pizza it won't be much but we'll we'll have a decent meal um much better than like the super noodles we were going to eat um but like now I feel like I can't even accept that because will they think that looks dodgy someone sending me a little bit of money for a pizza will they think that that's not allowed so I'm just gonna have to struggle I guess I'm sorry I just just needed a rant, I guess. A depressy rant. I think I'm gonna go. I'm sorry for ranting again. Hopefully things will get better. Doesn't fucking seem like it right now, but See you in the next one. Bye-bye.